Hello everyone. Um, this is my first video tutorial. In fact, this is my first video ever on YouTube, so I'm planning to keep things uh, to keep things simple. Um, I'll be creating a small Java game, um, guessing number game. So you can use uh, any environment you want, but I'll be using Notepad plus plus. So let's just create a folder called I know. Let's let's not be creating called game then create a file which will be which will hold our source code let's name it game.java as well and before we start I'm making assumptions that you have some basic understanding of Java methods fields and classes but you all need any extensive knowledge. So let's create a class called game. The name of the class has to be the same as the name of the file. And create the entry point, which is public static void main, which takes an array of strings. Before we create a game, we'll first need to plan uh, we'll need a game loop then something to generate a random number then take user input and finally um, check the input and tell the user whether he was right or wrong. So this is our plan how we're going how we're going to create the game. Um, I recommend creating like methods for each of the uh, comments uh, except for the game loop I guess the game loop will be something like that and we also need a loop control so let's create a boolean variable called running while running to this. So that's out of the way. Now we'll need to generate a random number. It will be easier to just create a simple method called um, get random, which will return and Math random. This method from class math will return a value, a double value between 0, 0.0 and um, 0 0.99, I think. Yeah, it doesn't return one. So basically, any double value between 0 and 1, uh, 1 exclusive. So, in order to generate a random number, a random integer number between um, 0 and 10, so there will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8, 9. Um, um, let's say in max. So this maximum number will be 9. If we multiply math.random by max, we'll maximum get 8 if we um, typecast it to integer. Having done that, we can add 1 to it. Now this method will return oh, sorry. Now this method will return any value from one to nine inclusive. And let's create some variables to hold these values. Like number. This value will hold the value that randomly generated. Uh, value also input 
to take user input. We'll also need to know whether the input equals the randomly generated number. So we'll need a boolean saying um, test. I'll use true here and you'll see why. So if guess we will need to generate a um, number again. So number is get random nine. This method will return us um, a value from one to nine. Then assign guess false. Um, here we shall take the user input. I think the easiest way is just import the Java visual scanner and just scan it. So we we'll need to initialize scanner first. So input assign input the value of the um, value taken from the terminal, which is next int. Um, now we need to think of a way to stop the game loop if the user wants to exit. Um, we could use like negative value let's say minus one, so if the user enters minus one, the game loop will exit and the game will stop. So if input equals minus one, running inside false, else do the checking. Um, we can do checking in a very interesting way. Since guest is a boolean, we can assign an expression to it, a boolean expression, like uh, input equals number. So basically what it does is we'll evaluate this expression to some uh, boolean value, which is true, could be true or false. So if imp input does equal the number, guest will be true, and if, if input doesn't equal number, guest will be a false. If the user has guessed, then we generate a new number, uh, assign guessed false, and do the whole procedure again. Uh, we could also include some um, printing info so that the user knows what's happening. Like if yes, um, say that. I have chosen random value. How do go guessing it? And yeah, if you if the user doesn't guess the value, then say, like, I don't know, uh, try again. Yeah, that should do. All right, let's try and compile it. See, what was that? Um, okay. Yep, compiled and now running. Let's try nine. No, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hell, <laughs> it was one. Chosen one. That was five. 
No, it's exit minus one. Yep, to have just exited the program. So yeah, this is basically a very simple Java game for the first tutorial. And if this video happens to have several likes, I'm planning to do more videos um, on creating Java games, different types of games, including text user interface and graphical user interface, um, side scrolls, platformers, arcade games, I don't know, any type of games, depending on what people want. And I hope you enjoyed it and understood everything. If you didn't understand parts of it or the whole thing, just feel free to send me an email or a message, and I'll try to reply it. And thanks for